black BD724 there. And over here, we've got a right old beast we have. Unusual to see such an old tractor on a demonstration day if I can catch it up. It's an 8970, it's a big one. Got a shoot maker forage wagon. Yep, yeah, it's an 8970. Blimey. You've seen one of them in the flesh. Let's have a look at this little square one. Little four string uh, coon baler. 
an LSB 890D. Um, with companies that have separate feeding augers on the pickup reel, very often people will say that they get problems of, of crop um, just sitting on the pickup reel and not feeding into the machine very consistently. Uh, we don't have that problem. Um, again, we've got the uh, automatic greasing system that you can see, the Beaker Max system, which is a, a very reliable system. Uh, the boxes on here are for the ice bus, so this is basically where we've got the brains of the machine, um, and that, so we can plug it into the tractor on the ice bus system. Uh, but a very, very well made machine. You can see if you look the tracks for where the plunger is running, a very large diameter of the, of the road. into the working width which is four meters so the arm is very much like the top topic handler it's very good to assume an operation we must be moving when we're doing it Based on sunny else, I don't know. Perhaps it's uh, perhaps it's based on a D-Max. I don't know. Similar looking lines. 
Yeah, nice looking truck. New one on this chopper. Oh dear. Getting a bit stiff I am. Nice little machine, like I say, I don't think they're pretty sure they're not using it. I have to say, been up this end about an hour and a half now, and they haven't done anything. Now what size is this machine? Am I going to be able to see? No, can't tell what it is. Big old lump in there though, boys, FPT. A few ponies in there. A few ponies. Had a good service act, Chris, it looks like a couple of bolts maybe and that panel will come out and all hmm yeah what, uh, what am i going to be able to see it's no nope, still can't see wheel arch is in the way now, i'm not sure what this load is based on it's exactly the same as the new Holland one If it's a bobcat in design, might be. To stand, they've got a few machines here, not too many. Some of the sort of setup to the New Orleans um, gear, obviously. New Orleans being New Orleans, the case being the same. Here we are coming up to Laylee's demo plot. They're utilising Massey's this year. Massey loader again. I'm not sure who builds it for them. I'm pretty sure it's not Massey's own. This is fence stand. Okay, they've got a 1050 here. A rather large butt rake on the back. Yeah, I've actually got in reverse drive configuration as well at the minute. Be handy for butt rate work. I think big baler, I think chopper katana here. Yeah, we've got a Fent 828 with a set of triples on with groupers. Voucher's um, pink voucher. What is it? They do have little engine badges on here somewhere. Here you guys, an N154. Voucher's N154, pink one, it's an unlimited um, supporting breast cancer. And I've got a video to do um, regarding that at some point, so I should do that at some point. Um, Reese, one of the APV boys on Facebook, he sent me a t-shirt to wear and I'll do a video about that sometime. Now right, here we are, John Deere stand. And usually they've got a pot and rake on here, but uh, I don't suppose John Deere do their own rake, so. Good selection of kit they got. Round bow, round bayers, round bow wrappers combination wrappers trailed mower front mower John Deere's new 6250R new triple mowers on it Seeing that going in a, in a while. And we've got the demo gear. A uh, John Deere 8, 8, uh, 8800 i chopper. 6215R with a square bale.
Chuskin wagon over there as well. That's a John Deere stand. We're gonna. To... I was just about to say we're gonna leave them because they don't appear to be doing anything, and I've hardly done anything all day. But uh, they do seem to be firing machines up. So whether they are gonna have a play, I'll see if I can get uh, see if I can get some action if they do. Some key features about this machine is first of all we've got a 2.3 meter five time bar galvanized pickup. Now it's a cam track design which means we've got excellent feeding, it doesn't matter whether we're in long grass such as these conditions or very short third foot silage, it will feed exceptionally well into that inline auger rotor. Yeah I'll just sort of show you this one, it's a <coughs> Samson PG227 and uh, presumably that means it's 27 cube <laughs> and that is, that is one big tanker, I'll give it that drill bar on it obviously probably a 24 meter looking at the booms massive bloody tires on it 860 and rubber by 60 as they are 34 inch rims triaxle front and rear steering yeah it's a fair machine isn't it what we got on the front either a 936 or a 939 yeah it's a 936 and you'd want every every one of them horsepower and weight I think for that Big big tanker. Very big. Bunion spreader here. It's up very high. It's up very high for a spreader. Perhaps that's just because it sits on tandem axles like that. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a big old read over here, VT4556. self power. well in this case, got a max spreader on the back. But these can come with um, slurry spreaders as well. As you can see here on the information board. It's like you see in this country very often, normally you see the challenges. Rogators like, um, well the interrogators rather like what um, Cramphorn's got but uh, we've got a big six wheeler one on that uh, on that one there yeah, press a bit of kit Some principle of this machine if you want to save time increase productivity uh, save wear and tear on both the tractor and the operator then this machine's for you in standard we expect that a, a standard baler needs 18 to 20 seconds in terms of stopping, binding and ejecting the bale. And if you're producing three, four, five hundred bales per day, of course that's a huge amount of time in just standing and waiting. So you can imagine the savings you can get if you're working non-stop. This machine in principle uh, works with two chambers. There's a free chamber in of the main chamber. The, the free chamber is two-thirds the size of the main chamber, so the pre-chamber is approximately 90 centimetres in diameter. And in the pre-chamber, that's where we make the, uh, the, the core of the bale. When the predetermined density is reached in the pre-chamber, the formed bale is then transferred into the main chamber. Uh, and this transfer is done by a, a very special uh, transfer system, a unique transfer system, which you will see during the demonstration. At the same time that the crop, the pre-bale is transferred, uh, the crop it's diverted from the pre-chamber into the main chamber, allowing the bale to be completed inside the main chamber. As the full bale density is reached in the main chamber, the crop flow is then diverted back to the pre-chamber, which means the main chamber can then uh, start with the binding process and the material can still be collected, so you can work non-stop. As the binding process begins, the wrapper moves into the lower position to collect the completed bale and when, the, when collected the wrapper then lifts up into the wrapping position uh, giving a, a, a fantastic ground clearance allowing the bale to be wrapped. Okay, If you're 
fun, but there are of course conditions where we need a, 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 a significant amount of ground clearance. When complete, the wrapper is reducing, is lowering into this position and dropping the bale gently onto the ground. We're almost trying to place the bale on the ground. All the time the wrapping process is taking place, the baler is still moving forward, producing the next bale non-stop. This machine has a spot, what we call a spot work rate of 80 plus bales per hour. Uh, so in reality, you can achieve this high level of production, uh, which is very important uh, for the contractors today. In principle, if you want to save time, if you want to save money, if you want to increase productivity, if you want the operator to have a, a, an easier uh, uh, life, then the bike on fast belt is a, is a good choice for you. Uh, Tom, are you ready? <laughs> Right, here we go, we've got um, Orcon's fast bale, which I'm interested to see, as we've just been hearing about. Non-stop bailing for a round bale. We've got a Kubota 1M7171 on the front. should see in a minute the back will come up as he's made the first bale there you go made a bale, he ain't stopped yet now it wraps it, lifts it up a bit so it's got plenty of ground clearance clever bit of kit all non-stop now that is the future of round bailing, I think. I mean, Laley have done one as well. From what I've read in the press, the Laley one looks a lot more complicated, where this seems quite simple. And obviously, it allows you in, allows him to hang on to the bale until he's ready to drop it. Good system. The bale is not oversized. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's done for the time, I think. But uh, yeah, that shows you what it was capable of non stop bailing. Got a nice kibota on the front. Press a bit of kit if it's uh, reliable enough. Yeah, very good. I've got a little shout out to do as well. I've seen a few of my, um, a few of my fans from YouTube today, a few selfies and that sort of thing. And. Um, just had a, done a selfie with a chap named Shane Lynch, he wanted a shout out, so there you are Shane, there's your shout out mate. Um, hope everyone's enjoyed the day. I've had some blooming good weather, it's been ever so warm, real muggy. I think I've uh, made a bit of a mistake with my shirt and trousers to be honest, I think shorts and t-shirt would have been better, but uh, um, yeah, he's gonna have a, is he going to have another go or is he parking up? But uh, no, cracking day, first time at Grasson. And um, yeah, it's over a massive, well, what is it, 170, 190 acres, I think, the show's over. That's the trade stand section over there, which we've only, well, I've only walked up, basically walked up one aisle and then come to the working demo, so not done much of the trade stands yet. Um, but yeah, it's a really good show, really. Again, look a lot of farm shows, you need two days to go around it, I think. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!